Welcome back. We will be looking at uh, a few important aspects of how big data can impact an organization now. Uh, firstly, um, what exactly or what kind of impact does big data have on performance measurement and performance management? So since we've uh, looked at an understanding, we've established an understanding of big data and what it is, we're going to use McKinsey's uh, proposed uh, uh, impact points about the benefits that uh, big data can reap or can provide uh, to an organization. Of course, uh, these consultants are promoting it because they have big data uh, consultancy services that they offer. So they are just making money off of it. But uh, nonetheless, there are some important points that you can understand. Uh, of course, it's going to give you fresh insight and understanding because you have a bigger volume and bigger variety of information that is coming in fast also. Performance improvement is definitely expected because you know more and, and with more knowledge, uh, you're bound to make better decisions. Uh, market segmentation and customization. So because uh, customer requirements, customer specifications are getting ever more complex, uh, you, with more information, you can provide personalized support, you know, all of that, uh, suggestions, etc. Uh, decision making will be uh, better. Uh, will be uh, timely, will be faster, will be more responsive, will be more relevant because you know more, you know better. Uh, innovation is definitely enabled. Big data in itself is part of an innovation approach uh, because you have a better view of things and how exactly things are working and what exactly going. You have the nuances, the details, right? So you can use those details to make better decisions and innovate, uh, come up with new solutions, new things. Uh, risk management uh, process can improve because uh, you you can now pinpoint uh, maybe better than what you used to earlier in terms of what exactly causing your risks, what kind of threats are you facing because you have more information, better volume, bigger volume, better variety, more veracity. So when you have all of that, uh, maybe you can pinpoint exactly what's going wrong and face those threats uh, effectively. Um, so just a few illustration points have been provided for you of how different organizations like consumer organizations, sports teams, manufacturing companies, financial institutions, politicians, educational institutions are using big data. So definitely take a look at it. Um, we are also going to look at the different risks associated. So not only that big data does bring a lot of advantages, there are risks uh, with respect to big data. One, one, one of the biggest issues, and that is why big data is a major uh, demand uh, aspect in terms of job skills because uh, big data programs and degrees and college courses are being offered more and more because uh, people are looking for people or employers are looking for people who can uh, manage big data, who know the big data science and big data tech. Uh, so availability skills is a concern still. I think uh, it's going to get uh, addressed uh, over the next 10 to 20 years. Security of data is a major concern because you're holding a lot, large amount of data. Hackers are more interested. So security is a concern in all kinds of ways. They want to get access into your systems. Um, sometimes, you know, you spend too much time, uh, you waste time uh, trying to look for things that are irrelevant. You know, sometimes, just because you can measure something doesn't mean it's useful. So sometimes we get, uh, you know, obsessed with a certain data point and, and it's not really controllable or it's not really useful. It's not something, it's dependent on something else, but you've you know, chased uh, something uh, that is non-value adding without really looking at the actual root cause. So you can actually end up wasting a lot of time uh, chasing behind what is non-value adding when you're dealing with big data. That is why even with big data, rather than using machine learning and automating uh, the analysis process, um, especially at the first time of use or you know the initial stages, it's very important to use good people, smart people with tacit knowledge. And this is what the problem is, even with availability of skills, because you have people who can manage the coding, who can manage the tech side, but they don't have enough experience or intelligence or you know ex uh, expertise in uh, finding the right information, finding the, the useful information, because there's so much data, right? So this is why they need more intelligent people. This is why big data is a degree program. It's, it's in college courses rather than just hiring, you know, uh, pure software workers, software developers, etc., or, or software engineers, because you want to educate them and raise their intelligence level, raise their tacit knowledge, uh, raise their expertise so that when they come into the organization, they actually have the level of 
you know the the level their cognition is being used at a higher level more advanced level that they derive beneficial information for the organization if not it's it's purely a useful exercise uh one of the biggest concerns as i mentioned is a uh, veracity of data because you might get a lot of data like see facebook they just have opinions and opinions i think at at a bulk level yes it is very powerful but uh, whether it's truthful from that angle you never know right you can't really judge that facebook's information is truthful but they they they're definitely opinionated they're opinion based and they they cater to the market really well the human sentiment really well so that's a different matter a majority is not always right that's the that's the point there so uh poor veracity can actually cause a lot of issues um because of the high velocity it means that tomorrow uh what you got today is irrelevant so information can get really outdated very fast so that is a concern there can be technological difficulties hardware issues and it can be difficult to update and maintain software and hardware um you might have a lot of you might need a lot of uh, firepower or computing power uh, and that can be a very costly exercise uh, anyway so infrastructurally investment wise uh, this can be a, a significant uh, concern for organizations and they will have to manage and they will have to always be on the lookout in a way that um the the benefit they gain from getting into big data storing big data processing big data employing people who can manage and sort and analyze big data the benefit they gain is bigger than the uh, expense uh, they make with respect to that so we will be looking at it further from a data visualization and data angle uh, in the next segment good luck and thank you